Hold on, I'm Zero, and welcome to something I've never really done before. So this was originally just a channel for me uploading music, like my songs, but I wanted to do something like more music related and not just, you know, like do, do like content based on music instead of just uploading it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Anyway, uh, this is just how I oh. Oh my god, fuck off! Findy, don't even have a fucking piece of sh Sorry about that. Um, it's just that, you know, I, I, I did this entire remix on my laptop, and I in intentionally put every file on the same folder on the hard drive. Because I thought, you know, if they're in the exact same file location, oh, it, that. Then FL Studio will know, oh, that means it's the same file, but no. So now I have to manual, even though it, it's the exact same file path. It's the exact same file path. It's, it still goes, oh yeah, you still need to, we, we still don't know what the fuck your files are. So we need to, we need you to, um, you know, go into every single one and manually find them. Um, because there, there's no, there's no scan this fucking uh, folder option. You're just gonna have to scan them by yourself manually. I was happy today. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna explain the remix I just did, but uh, no, fuck this, fuck all of you, fuck this. I'm done. Hit this. Hi. Right. So now that this shit is fixed, let me actually go over the project. So the intro is really simple. Uh, I really only added like this little vinyl crackle piece of shit. I just added shit ton of reverb over the entire intro. There's a bunch of like little glitch effects, sound like this. Just to, I don't know, be there. Uh, the drums are pretty simple. They're just like. On that, it's pretty much just the original, except um, I removed a couple of elements and I did some funky shit with the vocals. Why is it doing that? What the fuck? Why is it doing this? Don't know why it's being such a piece of shit for no fucking reason. Oh my god! I'm actually having a minor panic attack right now. Alright! That took fucking half an hour. A little bit under. But we finally have most of the files. There's one missing. But that's on the laptop, so I won't be able to get it anyway. On that, I can finally talk about how the f fucking song was made. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, the vocals are pretty much the same, except I added some weird ass effects on it. Let's talk about the effects I have here. This is an effector. Which just, um, the first thing, it, I have two effectors here. One on the ring mod. And one on the delay. Uh, to get that rob robotic effect, which comes in later. Which comes in here. Let me just do this so we don't have to deal with that. So yeah, that's pretty much the intro. I didn't, I did a couple of small things, but nothing too too interesting. So let's go into the build up. So in the original, uh, on this section, this is where the build up was kind of, and I didn't want that. 
I wanted like a standalone basic build up. So I decided to just fucking glitch it out. What the, oh. Why is this shit not retimed? Oh, this is gonna annoy the fuck out of me. Alright. Build up. Build up was pretty simple, honestly. Uh, I should have probably spent more time on it, but I just kind of wanted to be done with this remix. So, let's begin. We have a couple glitchy noises uh, happening. As well as a longer one. Um, got an impact, another impact, got some police sirens, real hood shit, uh, got ourselves some brrrr, and I just took the vocals, and where is it, oh god, I need to fucking, I think this one, yeah. Automation is doing a bunch of shit, like filtering in, filtering out, uh, making them to build up more mono, shit like that. Other than that, it's just uh, your basic fucking build up. Uh, got yourself a riser. Got yourself a riser. And you got yourself a riser. Oh, I forgot. White noise. Yeah, then you just filter in the fucking uh, the blip. And then we go on to Le Drop. As you can see, I'm missing a couple files. Uh, I forgot what they were. Alright, so let me go over the drop real quick. Uh, it's not a whole lot going on. You got your basic kick over here. You got your basic snare. Uh, you can tell these are fucking loud as fuck. <laughs> like, if I go to um, the, uh, the, the limiter. That's it in like minus eight. That's a stupid snare, but I wanted the snare to be stupid on this one. Yeah. Got a little like open hi hat. Got a close hi hat. And that's pretty much drums. Not the very simple drums, to be honest. But they hit fucking heavily. Alright. Uh let's go to drop. Um you got your uh, main little eliminate squeak. And then you got this shit. Uh, your fingers fucking... Let's go over this shit. First, you got your chunky ass sub bass. And then you got a blip. Uh, you need to play this inside the. Uh, top. This is literally just two sounds. <laughs> Usually I would layer more, but it already sounded really like big with those, just those two. Uh, so first we got the main like the high end fucking glitchy noise. This is something I made a couple days before I did the remix. With uh, it's just called Sick Mice Two, baby. Mice is corn in Norwegian. Yeah. So this is. 
I don't even know. I, I, I based it off a preset and then I did... I just did this shit. I just kind of fuck around until I get something cool. I mean, I did use what I like to call the staircase strategy, which is this. It's the staircase. And it makes shit sound glitchy as fuck and you just put it on here. Learn that from my boy Virtual Riot. My boy, like I know him, fuck. Are you missing all the fucking way on this bad boy? <laughs> because of course. Oh, max detune? <laughs> because I'm fucking stupid like that. Yeah. Uh just fucking not a lot going on. Just okay, it's just It's, it's literally just two sine waves. Uh one two octaves up, one one not. FM's up to be max, because if not and then just hyper distortion, regular distortion, compression, reverb, done. Done. Uh, and then I wanted something in like the mid range, because this is very high endy. Uh, so this is. I I, did, I, didn't, I didn't really do anything with this sample. This is just some sample from fucking somebody. I took that, took it down. Many octaves. Um, right. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, let me just go over the mixing real quick. Mixing is super. What, why the fuck do I have three EQs? Okay, so without anything, again, most of this shit I did was inside uh, fucking serum, so I don't need to do anything else. This is doing pretty much nothing. Uh, one to take out all the low end. Uh, one EQ, that's going like as an automation in the build up. A camel crusher, doing very minimal work, and then another. Wait, what? Why do I have? Why do I have two? Oh yeah, I have another low pass because the camel crusher adds low end. I think. I think that's why I did it. <laughs> you don't really need three EQs. I just did it because fuck it. Why not? All right. You know, this one I did a little bit more. This is without anything. You got, uh, want to take, like, remove all the low end. So you just have, like, the mids, and then, uh, reduce some of the highs. Because it, ma it makes it sound less full, but it, it makes, makes it so the high end has room, kinda. I'm kinda just talking out my ass, because I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. But, hey. Uh, another EQ for automation later. In the build up, a stereo with thing because I wanted this one to be a little bit more mono than uh, the glitchy noise, and Camel Crusher. <laughs> a little bit more intense than the uh, other one. And just another EQ, take out a low end because of Camel Crusher. Super simple shit, to be honest. But it's effective as fuck. Uh, so yeah, first off, it's really simple. Then I have little, this little thing. This is just something. That, it's literally. It's not even fucking on the uh, the mixer. <laughs> it just. Um, it's just a little fucking. Quick glitchy boy with a uh, little bit of life. Yeah. And. Yeah, that's kinda it. Uh, for the second part of the drop, I added in uh, the piano from the intro. Just because I wanted some, something more melodic, I guess. And there's a file missing here, and that was um, a version of the... Uh, it was basically the original drop, like a, like a, like a part of it. Uh, I put gross bit on it and p took it down one octave, I think. Uh, if, if you listen to the song, it's pretty clear what I did, so... You can hear it there, yeah. Now, let's go on to the second drop. So, same drums as before. Um, and this one, also really simple. A little bit more complex than the first drop, but still really simple. Uh, you got this 808. I love doing that. This is the exact same patch as the sub. Like, like this is the sub, 
and this is the 808. It's literally just adding distortion. Pretty simple. Now let's get to uh, this part. Um, this was some weird sound of sound shit. Again, just two sounds. Let's go on the first one. It's uh, it's a version of the uh, the uh, original synth, uh, except you can tell that, like this one's um, this one's two, up two octaves and this one's at zero, while this one's minus four and this one's plus four. Other than that, it's exactly the same. And this is the fun thing about do doing the staircase strategy. You you get completely different sounds just by changing the octave, like compared to or it's so fun to mess around with um, and yeah that's pretty much it it's just playing this little and also something weird about doing this the higher octaves sound lower and the lower octaves sound higher like if I play it here compared to when I play it here and it's just just going up like extremely high and extremely low octaves changes it changes it so much. Like, just listen here. Compare that to this, or this, or this. Ooh, wait. Well, that's nice, nice and screechy. You you can get so many different results by just changing the octaves of shit. I didn't add too much else. I guess small stuff like this. Reverse shit into the snare, and oh, I want to talk about this. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Oh boy. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I need to, I need to talk about this now as well. Um, what even is this? It's another version of. Oh, it's a thing from, uh, it's the same thing as before. Okay, never mind, I forgot, okay. I wanna talk about this thing, though. That part, that, that's my favorite part. This, this part right here? That's my favorite part of the whole fucking song. <laughs> this sound. I... What does the fucking original? I don't even remember what the original sounds like. Okay, I, I need to f figure this out. Cause I don't know what I did. Half the times when I'm like listening to my sound design, I have no clue what the fuck I did. Um. Okay, so let me let me just figure out which fucking pack this is. Is this chainsaw? This is chainsaw. Okay, so this is the original. And I turned that into this. I don't know. It sounds like someone screaming at you, which which is kind of the energy I was going for with the, with this part. And now we get to the second part of the second drop, which is a lot more repetitive. It's just like this is the, uh, this the exact same sounds as the first part of the second drop, except I added. If this sounds familiar to you, this. Is it's pretty much just the recall. It's pretty much just virtual rights to recall. Pretty much over the exact same sounds as before. But it sounds fucking sick, so. Alright. I'll get the last thing I added to the song, which is, was just this. Uh, this, uh, I think this is just a preset, yeah. Super simple, uh, barely anything, just cutting out the lows. And yeah, that's pretty much the song. Alright, so let's talk about the quote unquote story of the song. So when I was making it, right? Uh, I was noticing, 
well, one song, like, I already imagined when I listened to the song, like, like, psychopathic, like, yandere type shit. Um, there was a part of the song, uh, that sounded like a siren. Uh, I think it's the, this one. That sounded a lot like a siren. So, my idea was, like, what if this was, like, you're being held captive by this fucking like yandere person and You call the cops they're on their way and there's a fucking shootout happening that that's my idea of, of this song You're being you're kidnapped and the police are coming to try to rescue you uh, That's why there's so many gunshots and sirens and all that shit in the song because that's the idea of it And that's why um, the drop is dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo. Like, like an ambulance and that's why I like I try to make it as creepy as possible with like you know the haunting kalimba and shit You're gonna love me. which makes it sound like a fucking toy box and shit um and yeah that's about it uh, this was a train wreck of a fucking video it's an hour long and half of it was just fucking problems with the song so yeah thank you guys for watching I uh, hope you guys Enjoy this. Go fucking check out the song on Spot, not Spotify, not yet at least. Uh, it's on the SoundCloud right now. Uh, go check it out. Go fucking like it so disciple sees it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.